Do you think he ever is going to recover from that? No. No. So he got he got canceled then? Damn, I feel legit, man. Right? It's fucking, dude. Bro, I can just sit here all day and just be like, hey, what's up? What's up? Yo, it's on today's episode. So today. Right, welcome back to episode 23. Click and do it. I had it. I had it. Link in bio. Link in bio. Link in bio. And it's crazy that like, you actually stuck to it because I actually watched one of your, like, Earlier, we're like, yeah, most uh, podcasts don't make it past. I think it was like twenty or something. Bro, like shut that. the fuck up, yeah. really, dude. Yeah, oh, shit. So that's why I was like, good ass session. So that's why I was like, dude, he actually made it like past that. So like, yeah, <laughs> that's the fucking goal. And now I'm fucking here, <laughs> never ends. It's cool. I'm fine with that. I'm gonna be like fucking Joe Rogan when I'm fucking sixty year old. Yo, so you want to talk about today? Right. Fucking. You start talking about like theories, conspiracy Theory, theories, yeah, man. dude. Yeah, like, uh, uh, what's, your th- what's your thoughts on cons- conspiracies on the? Uh, fuck, I don't know. Oh, oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. We'll save it for the show. Okay. Uh, now? All right. <coughs> Welcome back to episode 23 of Lincoln Bio, the show that showcases Vegas culture, creatives, small businesses, and everything in between. And today, today we have a really special guest. He's a music video director based in Vegas, Angel. Hey. What's good, G? What's up, man? What's up? Oh, my man. Thank you for having me, man. Of course, thank, man. Thank you, About man. time we met. Right. Um, uh, before we get started, go ahead and grab that. Look at this camera, and you're gonna name the show. Episode twenty, <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, episode twenty three. Right. Episode twenty three. Lincoln bio. No, you can't use that one. So I'm ready to use oh, that one. Yeah. Man. All right. <laughs> Wait, uh, what am I supposed to name it? N- anything you want. Oh, oh, An- oh anything. Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. it's your show. Oh, all right. Uh, I'm just in it. Okay, 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 okay. Today we're talking about creatives. Ooh, creatives. I like that one. I'm just My bad, my bad. A little my jet bad. lag? A little, a little bit. How's the weather bit. over there? Gloomy and rainy. So I feel like I brought Seattle here because I got here. I'm like, where's the sun at? Dude, I, are you are you a sun type of person? I am. Really? I am. I am. I hate it. I hate Vegas heat. I hate Vegas summer. I hate the sunlight. Cloudies all day. I'm there. This is a great fucking day today. Is it cloudy the better? I mean, it, it has its days. I mean, like, coming from that, though, to here, I'm like, damn. I want to, you know, just like that little separation mm-hmm. to be like, all right, I'm home. But it's like, nope. Nope, I'm like yeah. in this vortex now. <laughs> yep. It is snowing in Mount Charleston, by the way, in case you guys are wondering, Ooh. at this time of this recording. um, I do have a question about your name, though. Y33. Ooh, damn, I haven't been asked that in, in a while, actually. Yeah. Uh, So there was like two versions of it, so uh-huh. I'll give you like the PG version of it. No, I'm just kidding. Nah, There's only one version. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make it sound more interesting. Right. There's two oh, versions. Two you're going ver- to get the PG one. Sign up for the Patreon. The right. fucking Patreon, get the if you want to hear the uncensored version. <laughs> Uncensored version. There we go. There you go. <laughs> All right. So uh, basically, years ago, uh, I was really into like festivals, you know, EDC, Nocturnal, Ultra in Miami. So I was like really like in the rave scene. Um, and then one night we went out to uh, Nocturnal and then at like 2, 3 a.m. We're back at the hotel and we're just like, we're still going, pounding drinks. We're just going and going because it was, you know, a two day event. So that was like day one. Yeah. So we're like, let's go ready for round two. So we're going, there's three of us, um, and then it got to the point, you ever get to that point where, like, you guys are just, like, drinking, and, like, everybody's, like, almost, like, having, like, their own conversations. So, like, all of us were talking together, but we weren't talking together. We were just, like, kind of blabbering around. Uh, and then my friend Cody was, like, yeah, man, 33. And then my other friend Jason's, like, yeah, 33. And I was, like, what, 33? And then it's, like, 33. And then we just started yelling, 33, 33. Yeah, dude. Just hyping it yeah, up. Yeah, we just hyping it, 33. And, like, dude. The entire day, the following, that's all we kept saying was 33, 33. Like, we'll drink and this and that and that. So when I started, I uh, decided to do the whole and like media stuff. And I was like, what's a good name? And I was like, 33. I was like, I got to figure out a way to make 33 somehow. And uh-huh. dude, I, I just like 33 media. Uh-huh. And that's how it just came out, that's man. It. Yeah, dude. So there's no, there's, there's no, no real, real like, <laughs> there's no real like, you know. Fuck okay, it, 33. 33, dude. Like, 33, there's no real like 33. in-depth version or anything. It. it was just bam. Like it. it sounds good. It feels so, good. Fucking let's fucking put it. Thirty three media. Just do it, man. I love just that. do it. I love that. How do you get into like the whole music video industry? So, <clears throat> I actually when I started, I wasn't even thinking of the music video industry at all. No way. Yeah, like when I started, dude, I was just like trying to like film anything. Like 
I'll take my wife. I'll be like, hey, let's go walk to the park. Let me just get some B-roll of you walking, like trying to make it look cool. Or I'll film my dogs. Uh-huh. Or like, we'll go to my friend's house and just be like, anything I can record, I would just record. And then I kept doing that, doing that over and over, just recording a bunch of different things. I would make like a cool little B-roll segment of like making eggs or like, you know, making a shake just to make it look cool or a uh-huh. michelada and just like, oh, this is, yeah, dude. I was like, literally, that's yeah. all I was doing. And then uh, a good friend of mine, Elliot, He's like in his band or he's like a producer in his band. And he's like, dude, he's like, would you be down to do a music video for us? And mm-hmm. I was like, I've never done one. And then he's like, yeah, you should do it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right. So YouTube videos, how to, how to, how to, dude. So we set up like a date, right? Uh-huh. That entire week, I, like, I kid you not, like, dude, I was just like uh, uh. anxious and just like hurting. Like, and then the day comes and they canceled. Why? So I was like, dude, I just tortured myself like a whole week. And like, oh, we didn't shoot reason. it yet. And we shot it like a whole month later. Okay. So I was like, cool. I, and I kept research, researching. And I'm just like, oh, man, what am I going to do, you know? And then like, I don't know, like the day came. And then all of a sudden, it just kind of like just, just clicked, man. Uh-huh. I was just like, all right, do this, do that, do that. Like, dude, it just this whole new person came out. And I was like, whoa. So I filmed it. Video came out. And then like two weeks later, uh, King Shot, which was like one of the very first, like outside of my friends, uh-huh. um, he hit me up. He's like, dude, he's like, I like your video. He's like, how much do you do, man? I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't like 50 right. bucks. Do yeah. like just, just you know. So, and it was it was sketchy too, cause he was like, yo, let's uh let's meet at this parking lot, and it was like at 9 p.m. Love it. And then I was like, I don't know about that, man. Like, like can we just meet like tomorrow in the morning? <laughs> You're right. Like, no, no, they always want to do music videos at night. And I was like, no, but this is to like to me, like. Be, just to meet just to meet like oh, he just shit. wanted to talk about it and i was like dude like we can just like meet tomorrow yeah, like we don't have to meet shop. like right now and that's what we did like i was like yo tomorrow starbucks blah right. blah blah yeah and yeah. then from there he's like, all right we're gonna do the studio blah, blah blah we shot the video there after that it changed dude once i dropped that music video uh-huh. like all of a sudden i started getting inquiries like yo how much for music video how much for music video and i was just like whoa like all it's right people thing. actually like this and the crazy part is like when i first edited that first music video I found it like extremely easy. Uh-huh. Like, I edited together. Like I did the first video, like two hours. I finished editing. What was the the editing program? Uh, Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro. To this day, I still use Final Shut Cut Pro. Up, really? Yeah. Whoa. So I edited on that, and then I I the whole time when I was editing, I'm like, okay, I just got extremely lucky with these shots right. and everything just cues up really nice. I'm like, so when I did the second one with King Shot, same thing. I'm like, damn, I'm like, okay, maybe I just got really really lucky with the second one too, and then like the third one, I'm like, okay, I think I'm just I got something going here and I just kept pushing and pushing for it. And next thing you know, like, you know, started going, uh, full time with this. Like, you're, you're fucking full time. Yeah, like, this is all I do, man. Like, what? I don't, yeah. Get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, show me the fucking way. Cause I want to do that shit full time. That's cool dude. as fuck. Yeah, dude. This, this is all I do, man. Like tomorrow I'm just going to, ch- you know, edit at yeah. home. And then Tuesday I got a shoe. Yeah, dude. It's just like, this is uh, it, man. Uh, uh, when you're, as you're getting into it, who are the, like the YouTubers you're looking up to get like, the ideas, the tutorials on all that. So, like, the main two was uh, YC Imaging. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, Yo. and then Creative, uh, what is it? Uh, Creative Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, no those two. Shit, yeah. Those two, the same. And then there's another guy, Royals Production. And then, like, the fourth person I found was Mario Visions. Uh, Aren't they all three of them? Mario and Creative and YC, they're all friends, right? I think. Yeah, yeah. Dude, the crazy part is I actually met Mario, like, in person. Oh, shit. Yeah. Is he a cool guy? He's a cool-ass dude. Yeah. Cool ass dude, man. Yeah. I fucking, yeah, nah. I, who I Google was uh, Jacob Owens. Mm hmm. Fucking. Dude, his stuff is clean, man. Fucking fire. Yeah. Because of him, I want to do the same version, but here in Vegas. Okay. I have a little setup because he has that, that nice ass studio, bro. I literally saw him peeking when he shot the, what, MGK? Uh huh. That was fucking <laughs> fire. I'm never a big fan of the guy. And I'm like, yo, I'm a fan of fucking MGK because of that video. Hey, that's Dude. that's crazy how some videos are like that. Like you don't, you might not like that person, but you see the video, you're like, damn. Like all of a sudden, you're invested in them. Like, dude, he's my guy now. Yeah, <laughs> don't gotta do it, man. That's crazy. Do that shit full time. You have you find any like, uh, what what do you set yourself apart in the music video industry from others? So the 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 one thing I do always get told, at least from like the artists that I'm working with, is uh, and I don't really use that word a lot, but they're like, oh, you're very cinematic, which I still don't know what they mean by what does that. that mean? That's why I'm just like, okay. Uh, but I think it's the approach because uh, backtrack, I'm just going to backtrack a little bit. Just When I was doing the whole, um, you know, practicing with the wife and all that, uh-huh. uh, 
there was this guy who did a course. Um, his name was uh, Zach Crafer, Zach something. So he put out like this film course, and then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it out. But that film course was more like the fundamentals mm-hmm. you know, of like you know aperture, shutter speed, all that. But he his approach was more like for short films. Mm. So like, okay, so, so you I apply that short so, film. Yeah. So what I did is I I learned like that. So that's the approach I always took to music videos was more of a short film and like make sure my shots were composed versus just showing up and like shooting everything. I was yeah. like, all right, let me really set it up first before we even like shoot a scene. Yeah. Uh, and then prior to that, do you and the client do like the storyboard? Oh, yeah. As well? Yeah. So like, for instance, like whenever they reach out, uh, you know, after like you know, pricing and all that yeah. budget, all that goes into play, we set up like a full on phone call. But before that, I actually had them send me the track. Uh-huh. So like, all right, so like, for instance, they'll send me the song today. We'll set it up for like Friday or like okay. a week from now. So that way I can like digest the song, write down any ideas. And then I won't ask them what their ideas are yet until that call. So that way we can see where I'm at, where they're at, and then try to kind of compare and contrast and then connect the yeah. dots and see. And then after that, we'll be like, all right, cool. This is what we have. And then they'll, sometimes they'll be like, okay, I want this, 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 and that. I'm like, all right, we can do this, this, but not, not this, that. but we can do this. And uh-huh. we just kind of like something and then i use millinote millinote really yeah okay yeah because it's simple it's just like i just literally drag and drop i really references. think wait you said millinote I'm millinote thinking, what's the other app uh norat i think i don't uh, i'm not sure man i use i like millinote yeah i felt with millinote literally just Click drag and drag, and drag. yeah, yeah just do, do, and do, then do. it had the templates as well just like yo you want to do like a storyboard scene here you go podcast scene yeah. there you go it has everything exactly and then i always ask them though what they're wearing too though like oh I, do you yeah only so that way i know like how the environment will look with uh-huh. them or like what kind of, I'll start thinking of kind of colors that would match like with their outfit. And so you uh, just come prepared and just do like kind of like a, a, like a good contrast. Yeah. So try to be like, all right, we're wearing white. I know it's kind of like universal, so I can use like darker colors. So that way it pops. Ah, Stuff no like shit. that. So, but I do, I did find that whenever I would ask them like questions like that, like, Hey, uh-huh. what are you wearing? Or, you know, do you have vision for it? Or, you know, do you have a story for it? I noticed that whenever I asked them like, Oh, you're the first person to actually ask me that. You know this and that so i'm like oh that's cool another big thing is like word of mouth man so mm-hmm. like some of these like will f- tell the other friends and then they will hire me so that's actually how a majority of like the out-of-state ones happen is because of word of mouth mm-hmm. like i work with an artist and the next thing you know they have a friend in like you know miami like yo how much for miami i'm like oh blah 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 blah, blah. let's do it oh shit. Yeah, yeah, i dude. think i traveled twice it was both of them at milwaukee it was fun shooting dude that. how's my how is it man Good. I like it. <laughs> no, it's just like, I was just really thinking about it. Their hood is way hooder than ours. Oh, for I real? love that. I was scared shitless. Dude, they're literally slinging right in front of you. Dude, that, that's yeah. crazy. That, yeah. Dude, it reminds me, I went uh, in Virginia, I went mm-hmm. to, I forget the name of the city, but same thing. So the artist picks me up in this Jaguar, busted wind, you know, windshield. I'm just like, oh, okay, okay. you know, pays me cash right up front. I'm like, dude, we haven't even started yet. I'm like, okay, yeah. you know. Okay. She's about to get real. Yeah, but I worked with him once here, so that's why I, you know, yeah. I was like, "All right, do we get there? We get to like this trap house." Nice. Yeah, and I didn't at the time. I'm like, "What is this spot?" You know, I didn't think anything of it. And then, dude, there's like five dudes in there. Everybody has like their own like. Well, everybody's just like smoking now, music blasting. Like, there's trash everywhere. Love it. And then I, I didn't think anything of it. I'm like, "All right, next thing, some dudes walk in, and then all of a sudden, just, bah, they just start you know measuring stuff, and I'm just like, "What? what? Like, what is this real? I'm like, "Dude, what the hell is that?" So next thing you know, I was like, hey, uh, you know, when, when are we going to shoot? He's like, oh, we'll shoot in a couple hours. We're just going to hang here for a little bit. I'm like, what? I'm like, couple what? Of hours. Couple of hours. Like, what? Like, dude, like, I'm ready to go. Right. I got my coffee. Like, I'm ready to go yeah. right now. And he's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, damn. Dude, that's how it was the entire day. They were just going back and forth, back and forth. To the point where, like, there's another artist. I started talking to him. And then I was like, yo, you down to shoot a video? Like, I'll give you, like, a real sweet. Because I'm like, I'm trying to just right. get, I'm Do not something. trying to be in this environment, yeah. you know? So, yeah, we ended up going to, like, the cemetery. Nice. We shot a class cool video there, but yeah, dude, it was just like after that we went back, dude. Mm-mm. 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 No. I do love the trees there. Yeah, dude. Two dudes in there were not feeling each other, and oh. yeah, I was just like, yo. After that, basically the the guy who hired me was like, all right, dude, let's go. I'm like, oh, thank God, let's go. Let's so go. You guys ended up shooting there, or no filming? Yeah, dude. We, we shot a uh, we shot like three videos okay. in like a span of like three hours, like just Fuck. back to back to back. But it's one of those videos. It was just like very like trappish, mm-hmm. just like in front of a liquor store. In, f- in yeah, the alleyway, the just like, yeah. you know. So, I don't know if you noticed, but I typically don't, like, really, like, promote this kind of videos. Uh-huh. Just so that way I can stick to, like, a certain... Certain standard, I guess. Yeah, certain clientele. Because mm-hmm. that way, you know, I don't want them reaching out for, like, just those kind of videos and I get stuck doing those. Oh, I got stuck doing that for a minute. Yeah. For a minute. How was that, man? <sighs> it's cool. It's just like, damn, dude. 
Am I going to get shot today or not? Dude, it's scary like that, like, man. I be telling them, like, dude, if you got guns, let me check them. And, but I, regardless if I do check them, I kind of feel like they're gonna, still going to pull one in the chamber anyways because they think they do whatever the fuck they want. I'm like, fuck, I'm going to get shot today. Dude, I'm, I'm glad shot. you mentioned that. So the same thing, right? So uh-huh. that same day at night, the last scene, we're going to go to the guy's uh, where he used to live. Uh-huh. I forgot the name of the town, wherever he's at. But anyways, we get there. And he's just like, yeah, man. He's like, my boy got shot up over there. And then I got in a fight here before I went in the pen for, you know, 10 years. I'm like, you went in the pen for 10 years for shit? No, I'm like, no, dude, there's more to that. Right. I'm like, damn, what the hell? So we park, uh, and then we started filming some stuff, and I forgot, oh, my battery, I need another battery. So I'm like, I need to go back to the car. So I was like, yo, I need to go back to the car real quick. And then his other friend's like, where'd you park at? And I was like, like, right there. And he's like, you good? I'm like, what do you mean? What, what do you mean? You're, we've been here for like half an hour. Yeah, you just now telling me like we're good. Like I'm out here with my camera and everything. Right. Like yeah, dude. Like I'm like, yo, one more scene. Like let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Yes, this, yeah. I, the communication was good though, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can imagine <laughs> the fucking anxiety you're going. Dude, through. I was just like, let's go. <sighs> would you? So you would never do that again? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, they hit me up like, yo, you want that? You down to come back? I'm like, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Think about it. Think about it. No, never come back. Yo, just, just come, let me know when you're here. I'll give you yeah, just, just come here. Yeah, come come over yeah. here, man. I got yeah, you. I ain't, I ain't trying to do that shit today. That is crazy. That's intense. That's a really good story. Um, do you have any advice for anyone who wants to become a music video director? I would just say, besides practicing a lot, uh-huh. is find a style that you like. I mean, that's basically a real big thing is, uh, and lighting, lighting. I would probably just say lighting, dude, because a you lot, think, you think, because a lot of times, like, I'll, I'll, I'll watch a lot of videos. Like, I'll watch everybody's, like, in town, mm-hmm. like, outside of Vegas, I'll watch videos. And then one of the big things I noticed that from the ones that are just starting and the ones that are doing, like, a little bit better is always the lighting. Like, they'll actually set key lights and, like, cool themes versus the guys are just, you can tell, like, they just cranked up the shutter. Mm-hmm. You know, ISOs and do, all that. Do you think that, like, the lens is more important than the, than the light? Yeah, dude, because right now, dude, I shoot on the A7 III, uh-huh. which is just, like, an 8-bit camera and one lens. I shot from start A to now, one lens. What's the, what's the lens? It's a Sigma 35 mil lens. A 35, 1.4? 1.4. Yes. That is the only that's lens I have shot, dude, in my entire career, one lens. That's all I've used. Yeah, I got the Sigma 35, 1.4, too. Dude, that's, I love that lens. Oh, it's actually clutch. Right here. That right that's there, the one right there. This that, is my fucking baby right that's there. That's the baby right yeah. there, man. That's that, it right there. That's, that's all you need. So Zoom you lens need. is cool if you want to, but like prime lens is fucking perfect. Yeah, but yeah, dude. Back to that is lighting because I noticed once I actually bought like the first like the nan lights you guys uh-huh. have when I first bought those. Like, dude, all of a sudden like people are like, oh, I like your lighting. Oh, I like this, and because it started separating you from like the rest because they 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 look at it as like, oh, this guy's serious. He actually yeah. sets up lights, and even though it's it's a simple setup. They see that and they remember that, and it just brings. I don't know. I feel like if you put in that out, like it comes back to you. Oh, one thousand, and then especially at the outcome of the video. Do you, I'm assuming you shoot in four K? Yeah, yeah. I shoot everything in four K besides like what I would call like the B roll shots. They're all like at ten eighty. Yeah, well, like yeah, you know. but like for editing purposes, you shoot in four K. Yeah, just so you don't lose any of that resolution and shit. Yeah, right? dude. Yeah, uh, that's and crazy. always, always export at twenty four frames. Don't export it at sixty frames, even if you shot it at sixty. I don't know why people what? do that. Like. If you shot a video 60 frames, uh-huh. they'll upload it, and it just looks unnatural. So you so just export it out of 24. Yeah, regardless of what frame rate you use. Always 24. 24. Always 24. Just throwing that that's out a, That's a little good gem right yes. there. Always 24. Nice. That is crazy. You're, you're dropping gems today. Sorry. I'm just really <laughs> shocked right now, man. Like, we've been following. Do, do you get most of your, like, your clientele through Instagram? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, like 99%. And it's actually based on also hashtags, dude. They actually work. Yeah, it does. It's yeah, so they'll be like, oh, I, I looked at Vegas videographer, and you popped up. I'm yeah. like, oh. Use hashtags. Hashtags are very important, especially when they're trying to like hashtag episode. Especially when they're trying to like categorize it, because I've been using hashtags like at first, like randomly, and I got to think as a uh, prospect, like yo, I'm looking for a videographer. How do I find one? Oh, Las Vegas videographer. Yeah, dude. Las Vegas music. Anything the word Las Vegas and niche, and just to find it. Like, how would I find me? And then yeah, and then I use back in during the pandemic, most of my clientele came from out of town. And that's how it, like I kind of grew and all that. Yeah. It was fun. Uh, and then and I think I use Chicago a lot in one of my a lot of the, one, Chicago uh, Chicago ha- it was a it was a sh- it was a Chicago hashtag that I used a lot because most of my clients were I'm from Chicago. Oh, okay, 
fuck, which one is that? I don't know what it is. I just keep replacing the same fucking hashtags. It's one of those. So I'm not going to change anything. I'm not going to copy, just copy, paste. copy, paste. Copy. Yeah. That's what I do. Just have it in notes. Copy, yeah. paste, copy, paste, copy. And then paste. I go back once in a while to see what hers was not. Because if I see a hashtag with most of my work in it, all right, I'm going to fucking dump down because obviously that was not working. I'm going to try something different. Yeah, dude. Do you, do you, actually, do you put the, any hashtags in rotation? No, dude. No. Like literally copy, paste. But I will go occasionally, like look up. Like I recently looked it up. I'm like, I had like wedding stuff and like. Uh-huh photographer stuff i'm like uh, i don't really do that anymore like me just kind of yeah. back it up back it up back it you up you used to do weddings i did like three of them oh how was your experience uh they were it's long, intense dude. It's right intense dude like so the first one was cool because i knew the person right but the second one dude she was what you, what you would call like a bridezilla so oh. she was very specific of this make sure you get this angle. and she was pregnant too so mm. yeah so love she, that. she didn't like certain angles i'm like uh i a lot of the shots were kind of like up down just mm. so i wouldn't show her like her neck area she didn't want like her chin and all that. So I'm like, oh, I mean, what, what do you want me to do, lady? What do you want me to do? Dude, I had like four of your visions on that video too. I was like, damn, I spent so yeah. much time on so it. So you don't do the wins no more? No. And that was like your one-time horrible experience? Yeah. And then the third one I did was more of like an elopement. So uh-huh. that was like simple. It was just like them two only. So I'm like, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. But other than that, I'm like, nah, weddings is not Same. my... Same. I officially stopped doing weddings. How was yours, man? I hated it. It was... <laughs> I didn't at first, but... My SD card got corrupted. Oh, dude. Fuck yeah. No way. Yes, no way. way. Yes. That's like the worst of That's the worst. That's fucking the that worst. It is the worst of the worst. And on top of that, he was the homie. Oh. Yeah. The co-worker, too. Oh. I'm like, bro, I feel so bad. Yeah. I gave back his money. But since we're co-workers and co-workers are different, different outside of work. Yeah, dude. They fuck. Because we talk shit. Like mad fucking shit to each other. And then once they found out and once every, and then he invited everyone else. And once they fucking figured that shit out, bro. It was a joke every fucking hour on the hour. Oh, oh it goes fucking corrupt their boy over there. Oh Don't fucking hire God. this guy. Like, damn, oh, dude, fuck dude. all you guys. They just... Oh, dude, they went hammered. They just drilled you. Drilled, just like, bro. <laughs> I went to a third party, got that shit fixed. Like, here's your money back. Here's the footage. Bro, just tell everybody. Like, look, man, I know I fucked up, but damn, bro, you gotta be like, going at it. Yeah. And ever since then, I do. I'm cool. I'm never gonna work with coworkers anymore. And uh, I do weddings. Weddings is officially not my thing. I'm definitely going to pass it around to someone who does specialize in that shit. Yeah, I, I'm not ready for that stress. I don't want to go through that again. No, dude. Ah, I already just think music videos is for sure officially where I want to be at. Yeah, dude. Dude, corrupt files are just like the scariest thing. Yeah. That's, that's, it's, it hurts. I said, like, dude, what do you mean? You got corrupted, bro. You were just working just fine. Yeah, and then you try to explain to them and like they don't understand they it. They don't. They think I'm fucking with them. Yeah, just like, what? Like, like dude, it's, it's like, it's, it's gone. gone. Like, like it's, it's, it's gone. Like, it I got to go third party. Exist. It doesn't, it never happens. And then it's a wedding. It's like their moments. Yeah, dude. They're that's fucking a, crying. That's a big thing, though. Like, because music videos, everything else, you can, like, retake a yeah. shot. But, like, a wedding, dude, like, especially, like, if you miss, like, a the kiss or, mm-hmm. like, a big, important speech or something, like. Uh, yeah. You're fucking yeah. fucked. Like, uh, right, uh, hope they can are. you guys do that one more time? <laughs> right, audio wasn't working. Plug right. it back in. Plug yeah, it back in. Say the speech exactly the same way. I need you to cry back yeah. on cue. I need more, I need more fucking Just tears. A little bit more. A little yeah. bit more. I wasn't feeling it. I feel like you're faking it. Oof. Oof. Uh, any crazy stories that you've done besides the the one you shot on uh, in the hood and shit? Uh, I'm trying to think. I wouldn't call it scary, but I would say one of like one of like the coolest ones. Like I would say like the biggest, I guess, production per se uh-huh. was one we did for uh, Ashba, which is he used to be in Guns N' Roses. He was like the guitarist. Okay, so we did a music video for him and his wife. They did like this collab song. It's like a Spanish song, but uh, dude. That video we shot it at the artisan. He rented it out the artisan from uh, nine a.m. to like six p.m. The whole fucking building. The whole building, like uh, the I know, building, like, the bar, the bar. You know how when you walk in, you can go to like the dance yeah. floor, bar, the entire area there. No way. Yeah, dude. So not only that, so he had like people fly in, like uh, a con- I can't say that word. Like, people that can flexible. He had like very a, flexible people. Yeah. Yes. Fortunate. Yes, dude. And he had like a half person chick. Yeah, she only like literally hips. Hit? Yeah, like right here. Like legit? Like legit. She was born like, that way. She, yeah, she was like this tall. Whoa. Dude, and like like a circus people. Basically. Okay, so sir okay, okay. So basically Perfect. that's what he wanted. The, the the vibe was that he like he walks into like this world of like trippiness. Okay. And that's how it was, dude. We were there like eight hours of just walking in and him just like meeting like all these crazy people and, and we had the his wife like in this badass red chair like two chicks in the back and like dude it was nice it was badass but be, and they would do I, that was the first time i rented out like one of those like big like 19 inch monitors so like the playback was like in real time so, so whatever really, record you like you can see it there so like it was cool because like all these people were like standing around just like like this just 
No, hella cool. Like, 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 yeah, wa- I like that watch shot. It, and then, like, we'll do a playback, and I'm just like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Suck that. Yeah, take that yeah. in. Yeah. Oh, you like that. So, like, that was probably, like, the, like a really cool high, because I was just like, dude, like, we're actually doing this. Like, it was, it was sick, dude. But it's very, very stressful. Was like, it? What was the, uh, the, the, uh, the cons? The, the cons of it was, so you have so many people, so it's mm-hmm. not easy to manage when you have, like, a group of people, people being loud and, like, Again, was it just you? Do you have like a small team? With no, you? it was actually me, uh, Brandon. Okay. Uh, and then my boy, Alex. Okay. It was us three. So I had Alex like BTS slash just kind of helping out. And then Brandon as like second cam. Uh, dude, but we had all our lights and everything. And like, they were very specific. Like we want this as dark as possible and this and that. And then like. That's where the Sony comes in. Yeah. I'm like, all right, I got you, man. And then the wife was very like specific. Like, I don't like that. Like we did a number number of times, like her takes just because she didn't like, you know, like she's on a big monitor. At one point we had to move the monitor because she will constantly like, she'll be, we'll be filming her and she will be looking Watching. at it. Yeah. <gasps> and she even called it out herself. She's like, I need, I need you guys to move that monitor because okay. I, I can't stop looking yeah. at that. Uh, yeah, dude. So then because of the big crew and all that time crunch. So yeah. like we will have the short, you know, the little person for like 30 minutes only. And then we have to film all her B-roll real quick. And like next, the next person would come out. We had like this big tall dude, and then the chick that can like bend over. We put her in a suitcase, and like we're rolling her around. And obviously, we don't want her in that suitcase for like forever. So we yeah. like we only got like one minute to get this cool shot of her. Like so, it was very like you had to know as far as like director side film wise, you have to know what you're doing in those situations because they're looking at you like what to do next. What to do next? Do you, and then um, prior to that one, how was the storyboard on that? So we actually went there. So we planned it out for like a whole week. Uh huh. Uh, middle of no, a bunch of references, and then we actually went there the night before, and then kind of just walked around and like, all right, well, we're gonna start here, do this. We started the video started backwards. Oh, that's the video right there. Oh. Yeah, that's the one right there, man. Check it out. Yeah. Oh no shit. Yeah, dude, that was yeah. So, yeah, dude, that that was. So that, that's like all like the, the intro shots of like the artists and all that. So, the whole story was like he's he doesn't know where he's walking into, but he just that, that is the right hotel for it. Something's basically calling him into the into the hotel room so he's walking in you can see the other guy there he's kind of like the guy like you know welcome 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 so this is welcome where to artist haven and then the cool that. thing was that we had the monitor inside so people you see we had the smoke queued so that way they knew whenever i was he was getting close they would queue up the smoke to basically come out he's like hey cue yeah. smoke as they're going yeah and then like that was the wife um and then yeah basically him just walking in like what's that like say so they wanted this video really dark and like kind of like and, the, and those, you have your own lighting too as well? Yeah, dude. Everything, everything that we had a big softbox uh, above her. We had like the lighting inside the little bookshelves and all that lighting back there. Uh, and then on this whole video, did you, were you shooting in uh, S-Log? We tried shooting the S-Log, but he couldn't understand why it looked the way it did on the screen. Oh, I'll And because of how big the monitor is, we couldn't load a LUT on it. You have uh, to like load one of those crazy like memory looking things. So we couldn't do that. Okay. So we shot in what's called a CINE 4. Okay. Which so is like really right, good right. for for it's ready light. pre-colored. Yeah, it's kind of like baked in. Okay. Uh, it's yeah. just it's just lighter on the contrast. Mm. So basically, we just crushed them down and and then added a little bit of uh, saturation to it. Okay, so not not so much color grading in yeah. post production. Just you get it as is. Yeah. So that was a big important thing. Is like you have to make sure you get it right. Yeah. Because it's not like oh I'll fix it. It post uh, like no dude if you overexpose or underexpose like it's kind of like shooting JPEG. Yeah. It's kind of okay. like you're you're done. So you got to make sure you get it right. Yeah. So we had this. Who's DJ the DJ that, guy? Is uh, he a real DJ? Uh, he said he's a, he's a real uh, DJ like Nova, I think it was something like that. Nova? Yeah, I think that was his name. N- Nova? I want. I, yeah, I could be wrong in the name, man, but I believe that was his. There's name. no way that's Nova. Uh, <laughs> where's my phone? Oh, yeah. Shit. I don't follow the guy. Oh, yeah, so I'm gonna ask him. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. That guy had the mask. He had long hair. Thing. No, no. Okay, okay, no, okay. No, no, I was like, oh no, shit, no, no. <laughs> I like that. That looks great. Now I'm gonna actually watch it. Yeah, check it out, man. I will. Check it out. It's a it's a I, cool video. I used to do. I used. Are you gonna do more YouTube videos in the future? Mm. Yeah. So actually, I want to start getting back into it because I took a break. I was only right now. I'm only uploading like the music videos and stuff, uh-huh. but I want to get back into doing like tutorials and like stuff like that because a majority of, like the the comments and like the the people on there are asking me for like you know how do you color grade or you know what settings do you use? So I noticed it's like a lot of beginner ones. So I'd rather show them because certain things like. When I was starting, like I was trying YouTube, I couldn't find specific answers to certain things. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, I had to kind of learn You're that myself. Be that guy. So I'm like, yo, I'm gonna really plug you in. And also, like another cool thing I want to start doing is like, for instance, people that watch this, like, if you let's say you shot all your usual locations and you don't know where else to shoot at, one thing I found though is actually looking up photographers in the city. 
So look up, you know, Vegas photographer and look at whatever they're shooting at. Mm -hmm. It's also with car stuff, like car, you know, car guys. Look at where they're shooting. Like, ooh, because you can find a lot of gems like that, too. Mm -hmm. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> dropping gems all day. Dropping, dropping it out there. But yeah, dude, YouTube is, I, I feel like YouTube is definitely the way to go. Um, it is. And so it I'm going to start just kind of. Go hammer on I got to go ham on that, man. Oh, I just got to. I might actually just tutorials. come here and just record some stuff bro, with you guys. Because uh, that's the biggest thing is like sometimes I don't feel like setting up. Like like for other, you know, for clients and all that, dude, it's easy all day. Yeah. I'll go full above and beyond. But for me, I'm just like. Yeah, for myself. Uh, I'm just like, uh, do I really need to put these lights on? Right. Like, I'll just crank up the shutter. Yeah. Or like just lower like, the aperture. Yeah. Just yeah, Keep it lazy today. Dude, I did, I, I did one like that. And then I look back at the video. Like it's, it's been posted. I'm just like, damn, like I really didn't do anything. I just <laughs> Literally put right. the lowest aperture and cranked up the ISO. Now looking like that, like that should have put at least a light up. Something. something. Now you're looking back like, dude, all right. Like, like if uh, you're gonna do YouTube, you might as well just. It's a, you might as well just go all out, set it up, and, but it just sucks on the downside that if you don't have your own stationary space, because it's the breakdown and setup. Because now you gotta use your own tools on the gig coming up and like, yeah, Damn, I gotta fucking yeah, down. I gotta go down there. Yeah. Like, Fart. And, and then that's the downside and until you gotta get in big enough space and just set up your stationary camera like fucking uh peter mckinnon you see oh, his dude. setup dude it's fuck, that's what? like a, a man cave man that's like a bro that's a that's a studio yeah that's the thing like if you're able to have something like that like dude, you're doing good you're doing you're doing, you're good. doing like, good off youtube you, you walk in there you have that like okay i need to do this too yeah. then yeah, no, no, damn it, guy stuff, and he'd be doing it for a minute, and I was like his 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 uh, photography side and his video side as well, and it's just like, dude, he has like a C three Canon C three hundred, no, it probably wasn't him, maybe it is him, that he just used as a YouTube camera. Some of these some of these YouTubers be using big boy cameras yeah. like the Komodo just for a YouTube just for video. YouTube video, like dude, like what? <laughs> the tech guy, uh, would you use iPhones? He's he done he been on he been on a. Uh, in Elon Musk uh, property, he was talking about like reusable fuels or something. I forgot yeah, his name. I, I don't know that guy. Who, who that guy is? Ah, fuck. Damn, I'm gonna remember these YouTubers. Anyways, yeah, he's uh, has a fancy setup too. Yeah, just just for fucking just for YouTube, YouTube, bro. Just for like, him to sit up yeah. the camera, and be like, hey, hey, I'm crispier than your channel. I'm like, all right, I'm very crispy. Yeah, but now, but now here's the thing. So. I was reading like a couple comments a while back on a specific video about how certain people do like like the what they call like the polished look of reviews, mm -hmm. and there's some that I just want like more of a, a rawish yeah feel. I guess it depends what you what you're aiming for and stuff. What's a what's a good YouTube length of a tutorial? Oh, that's a good question, man. I mean, I know YouTube is supposed to be like longer, like longer form YouTube. Well, but, longer form, but like, but I would feel like any, once you get like past like that fifteen minute mark, it's like not for a tutorial. Well, uh, maybe I mean, it's like After Effects. After Effects, yeah, yeah. It's like, like you gotta like really, because if you're gonna watch the tutorial, you know you're gonna watch the whole know, video. You're gonna watch something in depth, you know, yeah. color grading. So you can, you know, you're gonna be there for, yeah, like, for a minute, just for a minute, just watching, just, just like, kind of like, all right, just this gonna trying it out, and then not remember half of it unless you're like doing it like on the spot, like. All right watching it yeah okay. i usually just prep myself through this a fucking 40 there's a yeah there's a edit that the, the way he explains it it's very advanced and i'm not that strong with after effects yet but i could get the gif what he's trying to explain what he's doing and he does this this hulu i'm in love with the hulu's uh intro the with, the room. all of it all of it i fucking i'm in love with that i want my own logo to do like that and it's a 45 minute video but as he was recording it his whole layout's a mess. Oh. So you really got to pay attention. And he says it too. Like, dude, I'm sorry, this is a mess, this but I wasn't, mess. I wasn't expecting to do this, but like, I didn't want to redo it. I'm like, I get it. I understand. Cause oh. I'll be doing that shit too. Cause you're too far deep. Like, dude, I can't reset this. Like, I don't want to do this all along like, again. No, I'm not going to. Yeah. Like, follow, if you could pay attention to follow along, like, go this, for this it. This is as far as I go right here. So yeah. you just got to really, really just get through dead. the mud and the really. gems in there. Gems in there. You just got to watch through it. Not watch, but really try to follow along. Like, dude, I'm going to get there. But then I'm in love. Cause I think, at the end of the day, our ultimate competition is Netflix, Hulu, Disney. Those are the real competitors, mm -hmm. in my opinion, because they they got money, they got money, they got they hire true editors that only specifically like, that's all they, they do. do. Like that's all they do. He's an editor. We can't do that. No, we're not in a position to do that yet. We have to do everything still. If worst case scenario, go shoot it. I go shoot something else, and then I'll edit both. Something like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'll but get yeah. back to it later. Yeah, get back to it later. I'll just like, oh, fuck. oh wait, what's the deadline? Month, yeah, yeah, I'll do a last minute like usual. All right, all right, yeah. 
I'll do it a week before. Oh, you done those before, huh? Yeah. You ever done those, those last Dude, last minute? I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is for the un, un, <laughs> uncensored version. <laughs> follow us. <laughs> That's uh, funny. Gems. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, no. Trust me. I have, I mean, guilty of that. But, dude, there's been ones where, like, for instance, and the the artist expecting, let's like, say, for tomorrow. He's yeah. expecting the video tomorrow. And I would text him today, dude, your video is going to be looking good. It's done. It'll be done tomorrow. Uh-huh. And I'm about to start it right now. Right now. Yeah. Like, but I don't tell him that. And then I'm just like, just pushing through it. But that, like, fire of, like, I have to get it done, like, actually pushes me to get it done. And then sometimes, like, some of those videos that I've done, like, like that are some of like the better ones. Like people really like it. And I'm yeah. just like, dude, I was just like, dun, 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 click, yeah, click, but sometimes click, click. you gotta rush through it, dude. It's like, yo, you rush because once you rush it, you're in the zone. You're thinking, you're in yeah. the zone. Because at the end of the day, if you don't deliver, your name's on the line. Our names yeah. are at the line. Like, I don't want no bad. Yeah, I don't want to be like, oh, this uh, guy. Cool. Yeah. And, or, or be like, or just be it safe. Like I do it super fast. Here it is. I know you said you want it done today, but let's just say it's a draft. Give you some lean. Like, it's still a draft. I want you to make sure you like it before yeah. anything official. And then I'll just clean up a little bit more. Yeah. Buy me some a little bit more time. I, I thought of the draft versions, but I've always been scared of them, like, turning back, like, a whole ass, like, you know, like, revi- revision well, and stuff. That, so yeah. sometimes I'm just like, here it is, man. Let me know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, but if, here it yeah. is. If you're feeling kind of spicy about it, yeah, like, hey, tough. here you go and go for and wait for it. But, like, if I know I could do, like, a, like give me, like, an extra day, I, I could do put, a lot better. I can spice it up. Yeah. Like, wait. Tweak like, it just out give a little me, bit. Or give me a couple hours. Like, here's the draft. Just look over it. Give me your notes. So I know what to do, and then I'm gonna keep working on it. And then whatever notes he said, I'll compare it to my new one. All right, he didn't see nothing about that. I thought he will say, "Cool, even better." And now just apply it to the new notes, and then here you go, call it a day. Dude, isn't that crazy though? Sometimes like you'll think of specific spots, and like, oh, they're probably gonna see something about yeah. that, and they like they they look at something completely different over here. Like, hey, what about this? And yeah, like, I'm like, oh, or they're, they're talking about something, and the, they know that it never made the shot, but they still want to know if it made it. I'm like, did you get that shot? Like, you were there, bro. You know, you said it wasn't there. It's you saw it. They're like, dude, we didn't get it. Yeah, I know, but you never know. Like, yeah, I, I get it. You know, sometimes you maybe you can I fix went, it. I went back and got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, magically. But yeah, and and it's cool. And I I appreciate all my clients like really communicating, getting the feedback. And if I really fuck with the song, I really like yo. Let's take it to the next level. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, at the little... end of the day, it's not just your. I know it's your music, but when you do the video part, now it's ours. So what can we do to improve it? And then because at the end of the day, every time you promote it, I'm gonna promote it. That's a lifetime promotion. Because one of us is going to make it. One of us. One of us. One of us is going to make it. Or both of us. But for sure, one of us. I'm going to make it. I got to quit this. Dude, I'm glad you actually said that. Because, yeah, the way you always let an artist know, like, this is a collaboration between yeah. me and you. So, like, our names are both on this. So, mm-hmm. you make me look good, I make you look yeah. good. You know, like, so, yeah. All that promoting they're doing, like, dude, that's not, hey, who shot that video? Yeah. Right here. Fucking right roll here. through. Just pay for my trip or come here. I'm with whatever you guys want to do. And, uh. Damn. Damn. Yeah. What do you shoot on, man? This is uh, the Canon R6. I used to love it at first. Then I realized they still haven't fixed the overheating, even though they did the update. Ooh. And it sucks during the summer. How long does it last before it overheats? It does the full 30, but then it, it'll give like an extra five minutes if you turn it off for like 10 seconds. And it's, it sucks. I hate it. I'm like, but I, I knew that, but I was kind of just hoping for the best. They'll fix it. They did the update. Didn't yeah, improve yeah. a little bit. I'm like, fuck, dude. Now, every time I shoot a music video in the summer, I'm like, I got to get the shot. I got to make sure at least, I'm shooting 4K. This thing, it, it's powerful, but it doesn't, it, it, it's just, it overheats. Everything's 4K though, right? Yeah, everything. Like 4K 60 and all that? Mm-hmm. It's just, it just sucks in the summer. That's it. I hate it. I'm jealous of the 4K 60. Yeah. I, just, I hate it. So my next investment, I want to get me a Komodo. Oh, oh, you're going like I'm going big. You're going I'm, there. Yeah, I'm Holy gonna go crap. there. So, when, so, so uh, all the all the Sony Sony's out there, Sony users, what's up? Because all Man. my all most of my friends, they're all Sony users. Because low light, oh, hey, well, I got Komodo. I could do low light oh, and just saying it's in pre post. Damn, that's a whole investment too. Yeah, dude. I, I'm I'm about to get the FX3, but dude, I thought about getting the Komodo, but nah, I don't know. Are you ready for that life, bro? <laughs> that's that's that, that's is a huge investment because you got to buy everything all over again. Yeah, just for like that everything. Do the memory cards alone. It's like six hundred bucks. Yeah, for dude. A fucking memory card, bro. Yeah, dude. Give me some sponsorships, my guy. Fuck. Yeah, dude. I actually, uh, we we filmed with this guy who actually had a Komodo, uh-huh. and dude, the footage that he was getting, I'm just like, it's amazing. That huh? looks like a movie, like legitimate, like a movie, like this, like, and that's just like the raw file. Yeah. Yeah, we did like this, um, like this horror. 
So uh, Pray for the Devil was a movie that came out, uh-huh. and they did like this like attraction for it. So they hired us to go do like this like the art, the, not the artists, but the like the actors that were in it. They were gonna go to like this house and get scared and all mm-hmm. that. So the guy with the Komodo was just recording the majority of it. And I'm just like, dude, I, let me hold your camera real quick. Like, dude, yeah, I hold it. I held it for a second. I'm like, dude, it's the global shutter is like amazing. That's it's like, at. dude, you can like. And it just gives you like what you would imagine like an actual handheld to look like. It's and just like. And the top of that too, if your eye is so down, you could fix it. Yeah. That's the crazy yeah, part. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter what, what it really is. Like bro. it just, you fix it in post. Oh, it's too low. No worries. Fix it in post. Literally it's not like, say, I'll fix it in post. Like, yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, cool. Don't worry about it, bro. It's too low. Don't I know it's dark as sick. Don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I thought that, and that's why I was really attracted to that. Cause like, you never know. Cause especially if we're doing like, a, like we're a one man team. You know what I mean? Like I can't. I'll do my best to to make sure every, all my settings are good. But knowing that back in your mind, just in case you do fuck it up, I could fix it. That's fixable. Like, that's fixable. fixable. Not like, ooh, I cannot use this at all now. Mm, versus a, a handheld DSLR. But I love my camera at the end of the day, besides not working on the summer. But it's okay. It's okay. Damn. You, do you have any short films coming up? Uh, are you know, making them? So, we, so there is this short, we did five of them. Yeah, the problem is that I have no idea when they're coming out, but they're called Children of the Children of the Dam, Dawn of the Night. Basically, it's vampire based. Uh, it sounds vampire. Yeah, we sh- we is shot it like, it's like we shot it like a, yeah no no it's more like um, horror. So basically, there's a guy named Amnu who's like this like the main head honcho of like the like a Dracula. Okay, and basically he has like these little minions which are like other like teenagers, and they go terrorize the city and like. So we have a lot of scenes where like, obviously they're all at night, but we have some downtown where they're like, we had like this, uh, we had one where this guy's one like I had like the vampire hunters. Like, dude, we had like, and they had like scripts and everything. We had like wireless mics, like full on, like we spent like three days filming like each episode. But was I it here? Yeah, it was here. Okay. I just have no idea when they're dropping because there was like issues amongst like internally, like the CEO and this and that. So I have no idea if they'll ever come out and that sucks because we spent so much time on those like i have the links to them too so but it's not the same though <laughs> but it's not the same like i, I, I can't I hate, show it i hate when when you shoot videos for clients and they don't post it like dude, i just want to see it you don't gotta tag me and i just want to see it how it looks on your end or it's yeah, like a man. business thing like it's internal which is fine but damn it would be cool to see that dude that, that's one thing that does suck is like for instance i have videos that i've shot like a year ago and they haven't posted it and i'm just like dude like those videos are so awesome like just please like, yeah just, can I post it on my end? Uh, Shit. Can I post it? Like, if you want to wait another two years, that's fine. Let me just drop it, yeah, man. Yeah. That's another thing, too. Like, we can't, like, I always leave it up to them to leave. Like, you decide when you drop it, and then I follow. And so sometimes, like, I won't have, like, I have all these, like, videos in the vault ready to go. But So, uh, speaking of that, so I'm assuming on the per- on the agreement side, the contract side, you, do you place in there, like, hey, both parties could post it on the social medias? When it comes to the music video, yeah, I understand that like, you're gonna l- have them lead it, but like, let's say like, do like for example, like three years went by, like bro, that's a good video, uh, because on my on my agreement, I said both parties could post it on social media, but you're gonna you're gonna lead it whenever you're ready, and I'll post it on my end. But if you're gonna wait like two or three years, bro, I'm just gonna post, but I won't promote it though, just in case is something. Yeah. But I'm gonna sh- for sure showcase it, cause that's, especially if it's a really good video. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, posting it. This is, this is fire. Dry. I should do something like that, man. Or give them like a, if it's not posted within, you know. Yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, or whatever. Two, day, dude, if you wait uh, six months, I'm dropping it. Yeah, you know what I mean? I think six months is very reasonable. Like, dude, you have six Come months, on. man. Like, like, and then what they'll do is like, they'll round me one, they just drop it. And it's like, dude, like you had like no like rollout for it. Like no, Nothing. no, where's your, where's your no real? Where's, where are all the videos I sent you? Post it. I was taking care of you. <sighs> yeah. Dude. Um. How, how do you, do you, do you use Facebook ads? No. No? Ever. Every, everything's strictly through, uh, through Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, oh, man. Shit. Yeah, man. It's just all IG. Yeah. What's your strategy? The, the besides, ha- the hashtags. besides the hashtags, man. Just, and word of mouth. So one one thing, well, one thing too is, dude. So I use another app called uh, here. Let me tell you the name of it real quick. This is a, this is another gem right here. This is a gem. It's called Feed Preview. Feed Preview. Yeah, because basically I'm a. When somebody comes across somebody's page, obviously everybody looks at their feed. Uh-huh. So this basically, I purposely, it's basically like thumbnails. Okay. Every post I make, 
I have it exactly what my thumbnail is going to be before I post it so that everything looks, you know, very nice. Okay. And that's a big thing is like people will come and they'll see like, a, you know, very organized feed and they're like, okay, this guy's like legit yeah. or this guy's good. And they'll. That's it right there. Yeah. So basically it's just like a. And helps you organize your Instagram? Basically it allows me to like future proof. Um, for instance, I'll give you an example here. Watch, watch, watch. Is it free? Yeah, it's free. Oh, fuck yeah. All right, so this uh, at one time trying to show something. Right? Yes, is that, is that great? It is always that? happens like that. Like, you know, I'm trying to show something. Yeah, so some my, cool, like, my internet doesn't, you know, is lagging or, or <laughs> something happens. And it's just like, all right. So this is what it looks like, right? <laughs> it's basically like what your, what your feed looks like. Okay. But this right here. Uh -huh. This next one, that's what I'm going to be posting next. No, it's just like a picture of a, that's a bad what? example. I just threw it up. There. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah, yeah. So, but that basically is the next one to be posted. Okay. So I can always see what it's going to look like. And can you so schedule I can, the post too? No, you can't oh. schedule it, but I can put up to like, you know, 10 different things. Cause I'm, that's how I am, dude. Like I'm very like, here, I just added a couple more so you can see. See, I just added those other ones. Oh, uh, Okay. So I'll have it planned out how I want the feed to look like. Okay. And I feel like that's important because they'll see that you take or not take your time because they don't know what you do, but they'll look at it like, all right, this guy obviously clearly takes his time doing whatever this is doing. Uh -huh. And he just has higher chances of, you know, okay. getting hired. Interesting. Just little things like that. Man. It they're, does. They're they're like, there's no difference. real like big like secret, but it's just like all these like minor little things that you can do that you know, help you get there. Damn. No tid. I'm definitely gonna look into that one. Yeah, dude. Thumbnails. Think of them as thumbnails, man. Somebody I, comes across your page. Uh, what yeah. do you want them to see? Yeah, but I was like, well, YouTube really does. I already, I already got to worry about on YouTube, and then do I really want to do it on like Reels and like TikTok just to fucking? Yeah, just, dude. I mean, it's important. It's, yeah, it's like. Do you I, do hooks too? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, then. yeah, yeah. No, no. No hooks. I, I'm starting to get into uh, Reels now, like TikTok Reels yeah. and all that. So, but that's a whole. Dude, that, a, I, I'm trying to learn it, so I'm like, oh damn! Like, yeah, it definitely is a learning skill yeah, for it's sure. A skill, man. So I got a, a, I got a cool one coming out. Check it out. <laughs> coming soon. Plug it, plug yourself in real quick. Right. <clears throat> <laughs> had a brain fart there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what, how to promote myself. Uh, what's up, guys? My name is Angel. You guys follow me on Instagram. It is 33 spelled out. Number three dot medium with the three on there. I'll follow you back. Maybe. <laughs> maybe he says maybe. maybe awesome um I, I ran out of questions man yeah. oh man yeah. dude any conspiracies conspiracies uh yeah so uh, uh liver king man oh <laughs> i got a little glimpse i guess uh one of his prs right uh basically burned him and told him like he's uh yeah that he's not he's uh, not he's not he doesn't eat liver yeah yeah wow his yeah, own dude. But I'm, the big I mean, thing too was the the whole like steroids and all that like. But at the same time, like you see a person like that, like dude, like. I mean, you're always gonna think that if someone's that big, it's either they don't do it, but the, or they either they do it or they really do work out. But I don't know, man. Like it's just I don't I don't know the whole story about it because I guess he was promoting that he's pure liver and one of his, yeah pure his, liver and that's how he he looks the way he does yeah. Supposedly, supposedly more, <laughs> but then again, once you have that type of following at that point, who cares? Yeah, you know, that's I true. Think. That's true. Because I already got famous before that. Now it makes me even more famous. I'm assuming. Yeah, it'd be a little backlash, but it's not that crazy backlash. It's not like he did something crazy or like he stabbed somebody. Yeah, you know what I mean. Exactly. Like, but he just okay. Well, he doesn't follow his own meal prep. Whatever. Like okay. Like yeah, like, it is like, false advertising, but it's too late now. It's like it's like how they promote fucking uh, bad Barbie. Before before she got into the whole music thing, mm -hmm. when TikTok was coming out, she got the Catch Me Outside chick. That whole fuck they made a yeah. meme at her, bro. They made a meme at her. She got fucking famous. She got famous. She made her OnlyFans. She saw like no a, nudes. Like millions, made right? Fucking millions. Hating, but it's okay. It's love. And now she's done some charity work. I don't know how legit that is, but that's fucking cool. That's cool. I do. I do, real, because, like, she came out of fucking Dr. Phil's show. Yeah. Being a fucking brat. Yeah. 
hardcore fucking brat. All of a sudden, memes like years later. It's oh, that's why I was pissed. Cause it's fucking years later. It's years later. TikTok's fucking coming up now. She's fucking coming back <laughs> up. Yeah, that's why I was fucking pissed about it, dude. The fuck. <laughs> ah. And another there was another one too. Uh, what's her? Fa- I don't know her name, but she did like she did. A t- I think she it died down though, so she didn't get famous. She did a. Uh, Another wannabe bad Barbie. Forgot her name. I forgot her name. Period. Yeah, that one. I don't know you saw that uh, trend. Uh, nah. Uh, Basically, uh. some song. I think she was on a song that said "period ah period," uh, or something like that. I like, dude. Here comes the next one. Here oh, comes fuck. the next one. <laughs> don't fucking promote this shit, dude. She's garbage. And so I'm gonna assume they did the dude and I think TikTok did good. Yeah, so she's not famous. It's crazy how I you can become seen. famous like that too. Like, but dude, like, come. Bro, come on, make me meme. I'll fucking be famous real quick and years later. Shit. I'm just trying to quit my day job, man. Fuck. So what's your goal this year, man? Uh full time. Full time. That's the goal, That's the goal yeah. for this year. I wanna be like you, bro. Full time, making TikToks, traveling. I wanna travel more too. But for sure, my main my main priority is quit my day job, do this full time. That's the goal. That's, That's the, goal. the for sure goal. Cause there's so many opportunities, especially with technology now, like the whole AI thing. Yeah. Oh dude, that's that's crazy. I don't know when to begin on that one. That's just, that's a whole new other. Fucking, that's a whole, that's a discussion the, within a discussion. Yeah, it's just, it's just so amazing. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll save it for the next one. Uh, but once again, uh, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with a friend. All links are down below. Also, if you do need to rent out a studio space, links down below too. You could do your podcast, your music videos, your little small events, anything you could do in this area. Uh, reach out to the Artist Haven. On Instagram or links down below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, listening. Tune in next week. Oh. Oh, yeah. Once again, my bad. <laughs> thank you, my guy. Pleasure, Once again, man. dude. Thank you for having me. Man. Hell yeah. About time we met. And uh, let's keep on creating, keep on enjoying life and see what it takes us. All right, man. And that, uh, that wraps it up. Yes, sir. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. That was fun. Woo!